Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Lamode, has died in Cairo, Egypt, three days after undergoing a surgery. Family sources said he was in Cairo for a different reason, but decided to run a routine medical checkup, which ended in a surgery. Although surgery was deemed successful, he reportedly developed complications and died three days later. Mr. Lamode was the EFCC chairman between 2012 and 2015. He was appointed in acting capacity as chairman of the Anti-Graft Agency on the 13th of November 2011, following the removal of Farida Waziri by then-president Goodluck Jonathan. Mr. Lamode was confirmed third substantive chairman of the commission by the Senate on the 15th of February 2012. Let's talk about the person of Ibrahim Lamode, and I'm being joined by an anti-corruption advocate, Larry Suraj. Good to have you on the news at this time. So how would you evaluate Ibrahim Lamode's impact on Nigeria's anti-corruption efforts during his tenure as uh, EFCC chairman? Yeah, thank you very much. It is very unfortunate, and, and some of us who had uh, the opportunity of... Um, working with him uh, yet to really recover from uh, the, the sudden death and the shock, uh, except that we just take solace in the fact that um, only God can give and God can take. Uh, unfortunately, um, uh, for Mr. Lamode, actually beyond even rising to the position of the Deputy Inspector General of Police uh, um, before his retirement, and also heading the, uh, the police uh, special fraud unit in Lagos. Uh, uh, Mr. Ibrahim, late Mr. Ibrahim Lamo, they uh, started off as the pioneer uh, director of operation of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Um, he, he worked through that throughout the regime of uh, the Noor Ribadu as the chairman of EFCC and had a stint briefly. Uh, with um, uh, Madam Farida Waziri until quite a number of people who were architects of the uh, removal of Nuhu Ribadu saw uh, both Lamode uh, and um, the Ibrahim Magu uh, as an extension of, um, of Nuhu Ribadu's regime and the fight against corruption and orchestrated their removal from the EFCC um, until he came back again uh, and reinstated uh, in 2010 uh, as the uh, director of operation and eventually acting chairman in 2011 and then substantively confirmed in that position in 2012. Uh, there's no way you would talk about the fight against corruption in Nigeria uh, and the operation and also the achievement of EFCC, including the foundation that brought to uh, even the uh, the edifice that you attribute to uh, the EFCC, which is the current head of head office of the commission, uh, without referring to uh, Ibrahim Lamude as also laying the foundation for that, uh, and uh, some of those that you see uh, as the operation are uh, also due to his uh, contribution as the director of operation in, in the EFCC right. and also the chairman. All right, thank you so much, Larry Saraj, for bringing your thoughts to bear on this issue. We appreciate your insight. Thank you very much for having me. All right, we need to go on a very